I'm reticent to just put the URL here. But let's see. Wow, that's worked. Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download files and folders from Google Drive. I imagine this is a common problem. At least I keep pretty much all of my files and documents there. And sometimes I'd like to download some of them for use in, in a Python script that I'm using. So since I came across this uh, issue a number of times, I decided to write a couple of little scripts um, to solve this problem. Um, the links to these scripts are going to be below in a GitHub repository. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are, final part, downloading files and folders from Google Drive. Again, common problem, lots of discussions on Stack Overflow. I'm going to show you the way that works best for me. Um, it hasn't let me down yet, and it's using a library called GDown. But first, let's see where we are. So we've got file manipulation and git downloads, and now we're going to have uh, a new folder, mkdir, and I'll hold this G drive downloads um, ls and as you can see I'm trying to actually not use spaces because uh, this is all going to be on github but you know bad habits die hard uh, let's see where shall we go get downloads cd no g drive g drive downloads ls so here we are um, and I guess the very first thing that we're going to try to do is create a python script that downloads a single file. So sudo gedit. And what did I call the G drive file? Because I call it git file. So g drive file.py. All right, here we are. All right, so we're going to import g down and we're going to attempt to download a file um, with g down now files i'm going to drag this in and i'll show you a file and i'll basically show you what happens when you say get link and i copy this link now if i was to paste it here you'd realize that this isn't exactly a raw file it's got this view usb share link but the main thing that we want to get out of this is this file ID here. Um, once you can extract the file ID, um, you're essentially going to be able to download any file you want. So let's, let's focus on extracting that. Um, I've got the, the whole link copied and um, I'm just going to type it in like this URL. I'm going to paste it here. And so essentially the, the, the first task is going to be forgetting that the download bit is going to be just extracting um, a single, you know, just extracting the, the file URL. So the first thing we're going to look at is what would happen if we split it like before we split it on the dashes so if we, this is the url we split it on the dashes as you can see drive.google file d it would in theory be like if you split it from the back that's going to be view it's going to be the second from the back so if i was to just say print um, url dot split on the dash and if I am going to go for minus two of that, so that's the second from the back, I should get the file ID. Um, I'm going to save this, close it, Python 3, and whatever, that. That's it. So now that is the file ID. So from here on out, um, we can essentially specify that that is the file ID and specify the URL as sys.argd1 
make sure we import sys. And I think we are on our way. I'm just going to call IDs a, a taken uh, name. So I'm just going to um, call it file ID. So now um, what we really are going to be after is going to be like a prefix. I'm going to show you something. When you open this link, what we really are after is that the URL of this thing and it it says export equals download here. So we're going to do a little prefix. Prefix. And the prefix is going to say HTTPS the usual two forward slashes drive google.com you see no idea what you see stands for but export equals to download export equals to download and then we're going to specify id so that that is the and id equals to so that's going to be our prefix um and when we do our gdown request, by the way, you need to pip install gdown, but gdown.download, this is going to be prefix plus file ID. So that should do it. Um, I'm going to save it, close and hope, clear Python 3. And now I need to get that view URL because Google Drive just doesn't seem to give you the proper URL. Hopefully the manipulation worked. That looks very, very promising. ls 13 seizuresttxt So that is that. Um, the file has been downloaded. So last but not least, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing for folders. Um, maybe I'm just going to copy the code for the for the file because some of that's going to be useful. So cat clear cat g drive. Okay. Uh, sudo g edit, and what are we going to call this? G drive folder, g drive folder.py. Here we are. I'm just going to download this import g down and sys. So we're going to have a URL. Um, let's just share a folder and take a look at what that looks like. So here we are. This was the this was the the folder we looked at 13 Caesars it's the first one now nah, let's do one without a space um, let's do this one so if I click get link and copy link and I paste link here it's gonna have folders and it's going to show the it's going to basically show the ID of the folder so it will be interesting if the, the split minus two. So if I think about this, the ID really, I don't think the ID is going to be minus two. I really think the ID is going to be minus one in this case. So I'm going to try minus one. Um, this isn't really going to need a prefix, I don't think. So you're going to take the very last thing and gdown.download underscore folder. I'm reticent to just put the URL here, but let's see.
Wow. CD. That's worked. I'm just curious because last time I did this, it was slightly different. Is there a way to get a slightly different URL than this? Um, if I go back and I try to share it in a different way, so like instead of getting link, I try to click share and then I copy link. Will it look different? Ah, there is a different, yes. See, there is also the USB sharing, um, which I guess we can handle with an if statement. Copy. I'm going to copy this whole link. Um, I'm going to clear. I'm going to go into the, um, go into here and I'll paste this just so I'm looking at it. So USB that copy. So if we were going for the URL, basically I would need to check what's at the back, right? Um, if that's URL, I'll need to say if URL dot split on the backslash, if the back end of that, if minus one, I'm doing something wrong here. I didn't close the backslash. If this, if this is equal to USB sharing, if that is that, I'll remove it. Otherwise, it'll stay the same, right? If that is that, uh, URL equals URL dot replace. So we're going to replace the USB sharing with nada, nothing. Um, this level of indentation is ugly. So I'm just going to use two spaces. Okay. So I don't think I need file ID. So technically the URL is either going to be correct or it's going to have this sharing thing. So now if this script works with both, control S, close. If this script works with both, I'm really in luck. Python 3, G drive folder. And then I put, no, not USB sharing. I'll put the long link in this link okay oh oh no what is going on i have this 200 sign here wow that's gonna work too okay uh, we might have two zip lines. No, I think I might have deleted the last one. But I'm going to delete zip line just to double check that this last method of doing things with USB sharing is going to work with this. Beautiful. Okay. Um, that's all for today, folks. I hope you find these tutorials useful. If so, do remember to like, subscribe and comment with requests because I am actively trying to build a collection of useful Linux scripts and, uh, you know, you guys know what's useful for you. So please send some suggestions my way. All right. Well, done for getting to the end of the video. Um, looks like we're going to be getting familiar and I hope that you subscribe and stay tuned. But before you go, Here's something you should check out. Um, along with essentially the G drive file and G drive folder scripts that I went through in this video, I've made a more advanced one with the help of my friend Mohammed Dawood um, that essentially shows you how to automatically pick whether it's file or folder. Um, it's got a help function and uses this argument parser. So check this out. I mean, it's a better script if you just want to get a file or a folder downloaded. But um, yeah, if you just want to learn the libraries and how to use them, 
it's better you go down the individual route. Anyway, see you in another video.